What is up ladies and gents, my name is Mr. I Try Hard and today I have for you gameplay of Kill Confirm the Mission. I hope you guys enjoy Mission because I do and I get a lot of good gameplays on Mission and because of that you guys will see a lot of good gameplays on said map. I think I used the ACR silence I switched right before the game starts. Anyways, I love this map and this thing is good. Only thing wrong about this game is the type, the FMG9s, and the lag compensation, and the chat. Actually, a lot of things wrong with this game that I think about it, but still, it's still an, a very enjoyable game. I enjoy it very much, and I will continue to play it forever and ever and ever until the next Call of Duty comes out. Hope you guys enjoy this game as well. So besides the point, before we get into our main commentary, which is, of course, the awkward question of the day, which is always, always interesting, um, I would like to ask you guys, or actually give a, cow, a calling, Whoever can uh, do editing work out there, whoever watches my videos, who does, you know, video editing, stuff like that, if you guys can do an outro for me, if you guys are capable of doing that, of course I will give you guys credit, give you guys links in my uh, channel description, that would be done as well. If you guys can do that, you know the type of outro that uh, the bigger YouTubers do where they show their uh, most recent videos that maybe you guys have missed, stuff like that. If you guys are capable of doing that, I would greatly, greatly appreciate you sending me some of your work or maybe sending me a message on YouTube, a private message. That's how that's how you guys can reach me through that. Send me a message and tell me, show me, show me what you do and we'll work something out and we'll get something going because I want to be a pro MLG YouTuber and to do that, I need an outro because hell, outros are sexy and I think they are awesome and good <laughs> all right so that's it for that first and foremost not first and foremost but now <laughs> i would like to say a big big thank you it's been like a roller coaster wide for the last week or so i've been growing growing so big I'm gonna hit 10k by the time you guys see this video which is awesome and i would like to thank you guys for that because without you it'd be possible i get so many views uploading daily it's crazy it's like a roller coaster right now and i feel thrilled to be a youtuber and i feel thrilled to be part of this and for that i thank you the likes and favorites that you guys send me all the time the love i've been getting recently is just awesome please continue to do so that would be epic and i just i love you guys so much it's awesome i'm not homo but still anyways getting so carried away here that was a hell of a long intro, getting into our awkward question of the day, which comes from a guy named Mr. Colorado Avs, probably a hockey fan, good for you, hockey's awesome, and he asks, if you were the last person in the world, and only monkeys were alive, what kind of monkey would you fuck, and why? This is an awesome question, because I've actually thought about this before, yes, I have, I'm kidding guys, I've never thought about this, you guys are fucked up with your questions, but still... I've given this a little bit of thought before I do this commentary. I did a little bit of research because I knew exactly the monkey I'd like to fuck, but I didn't know his name. And I found it. His name is the, is the Japanese Maracas, or Marake, or Maracas. I'm not even sure how to say it, but still, it's spelled M A R A Q U E, Japanese Maraka, or Marake, Maraki, I don't know. But regardless, you guys have all seen this monkey before on the, on the Discovery Channel some Sunday morning. <laughs> and you know why? Because he is so distinctive. He has. A big, nice, red ass. You know that thing? It's huge. It's like he has a fucking huge pimple on his ass, but it's just, it's his ass. I didn't even look into why he has that. Still, that's awesome. And I would like to fuck that monkey so hard. I am an ass man. I've said this before in my latest commentaries, my earliest commentaries. Um, I'll go ass over tits any day of the week. My girlfriend right now has the most awesome ass in the world. Small tits, nice ass. I'm an ass dude. You guys should go for ass. Don't go for tits, because if you go for tits, and if you go for big, huge tits, later on in life, those tits will go down, those tits, the, 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 those tits will sag, and those tits will not become enjoyable anymore. But the ass, ass stays nice for a longer period of time. Pro, pro, pro tip. Just saying. All right, so the Japanese maraca lives to be about 25 to 30 years old, which means that an adult Japanese maraca, or a Japanese maraca actually... Um, reaches adulthood by the age of i don't know maybe five or ten years old so i would take like a seven year old japanese maraca preferably a redhead japanese maraca just saying because we all know the good saying those ja those uh those redhead chicks out there they are the uh naughtiest chicks out there therefore i hope that that translates to the, to the monkeys and i hope that the japanese maraca redhead monkey will be a whole lot more freaky because I like a freaky chick, you know, I hate having sex with a chick who's just, who just ju does nothing, she just sits there and just takes it, and she enjoys it that way, she likes the, I mean, 
I like taking the lead. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't like be given sex. I like to give and basically just force myself upon the girl and just rape. No, I'm not I'm kidding. I'm not, I, don't, I don't do that. But still, I like good <laughs> I'm not even trying to say. I, I guess I just I just like forceful sex. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, regardless, I would like a redhead Japanese maraca monkey because those monkeys will be the previous monkeys of the mall. And I think it's about a little bit smaller than me, which is the way I like my women. I like a woman to be to weigh about you know. 100 maybe 120 pounds tops and i think the japanese maraca is a little bit smaller than that you know i don't want a bigger monkey i don't want like you know the king kong <laughs> like like a big fucking um so what I'm, I'm looking for that that big ass monkey you guys the, the the gorillas or stuff like that i don't want those types of monkeys because uh that's just too big for me that thing would just rape me and even though it's still a, a female monkey i feel that she would just break me in half and i feel my penis would not fulfill her to her needs because she is just so big look, look at you fucking asshole head glitching you suck oh i think i get triple spray right here triple and a oh uh, i got my, my quad got stolen not even gonna lie that sucks regardless japanese maraca monkey all right, hope you guys enjoyed, and I would like to ask you guys a question before I leave. What type of monkey would you fuck? Now, be honest, we've all given this some thought, and uh, answer the damn question. Which monkey would you fuck? Hope you guys enjoyed, Mr. I Try Hard. Bye, bye, and more singing after this. Bye. I'd fuck my monkey in the butt, butt, but butt, butt, because that butt is red. I would like to fuck that monkey in the butt because that butt is red. Yeah, I'm a pervy motherfucker. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.